The 2024 Home and Away season has come to an end, and it's time for our final series predictions. After a dramatic and unpredictable finals race, we are left with our eight finalists, and a final series that is likely to see more finals taking place outside of Melbourne than in it. This may be the most open premiership race I've seen in my time with this channel, and so this particular predictions video is going to be incredibly tough. Virtually all of the top contenders for the flag this year have had a concerning form slump at one point in the season, while Hawthorne has emerged to win 14 of their last 18 games to bizarrely establish themselves as a genuine flag contender from 7th place. Even Carlton, who snuck into finals on the back of Fremantle's final round defeat, are set to regain some serious stars to help bolster their premiership case. It's going to be a roller coaster finals race I'm sure, so make sure you're subscribed to this footy channel as we cover all the action. The final series kicks off between the Power and the Cats at Adelaide Oval. Both sides go into this in red hot form, and have actually met in a qualifying final back in 2021 which saw Port Adelaide claim victory. The Power exited last year's final series in straight sets, and will be looking to correct some poor form in finals in recent times. On the other hand, their head to head form against the Cats is strong, with the Power winning their only clash at GMHBA earlier this season. I predict Port Adelaide win this qualifying final by 3 goals. On the Friday night, the Western Bulldogs host Hawthorne at the MCG in potentially the most exciting fixture of the entire weekend. Both of these sides have been in the top group of form sides toward the back end of the year, and both boast significant scoring power in their forward lines. The Hawks beat the Dogs earlier this year, although both sides have improved since then. Given the Hawks have shown a particular ability to navigate the wide expanses of the MCG, I expect the venue of this game to play into their hands, and I predict Hawthorne win this game by 20 points. Then we move to the Sydney Swans hosting GWS at the SCG, which was my predicted grand final at the start of the season. The Swans emerged in the first half of 2024 to be distantly the best side of the competition. The fact that they had a stretch of losing 5 games out of 6 without ever losing top spot speaks to their topsy-turvy season. They go into this game with some improved form, while the Giants have played their usual game of strengthening as the season progresses. This matchup is agonising. The Giants have won all three finals clashes against the Swans, but Sydney have won three in a row against the Giants and beat them twice this year. I'm going to tip Sydney in this fixture to win by four points. Brisbane vs Carlton is another fascinating battle. Brisbane's 2-5 and five start to the season ultimately cost them top four, but there's no doubt they've been one of the best sides in the comp in the second half of the year. By contrast, the Blues fumbled the top two spot midway through the year to only just scrape into finals, and have dealt with some horrendous injuries towards the end of the season. The Lions beat the Blues in last year's prelim, but the Blues got the better of them at the Gabba in opening round of this year. The return of several stars for Carlton is a very interesting variable in this game. Nonetheless, I'm going to have to tip the Brisbane Lions to win this game by 23 points. That brings us to our first semi-final, where GWS will be hosting the Brisbane Lions in Sydney. The Giants won both of these clashes in 2024, one being a 9 goal victory over the Lions in Canberra, followed more recently by a 3 goal victory over them at the Gabba. Interestingly, these two sides have not met at the Giants' true home ground in NG Stadium in 4 years. Picking a loser for this game is tough, and I'm inclined to back the Giants to win this game given recent form. Brisbane are eliminated, ultimately paying the price for missing out on the top 4. A semi-final between Hawthorne and Geelong will be enormous a battle between the youngest and oldest teams of the 2024 final series. As an interesting side note, it's worth noting Hawthorne have clearly fallen on the right side of the finals fixture. Assuming the power beat the Cats in week one, Hawthorne's pass to the grand final could involve two MCG games, one away prelim before potentially a grand final once again at the MCG. But back to this game, it's another tough one to tip. The Hawks have been scintillating this season, only accelerating more the further the season has gone on. Like I said, they've won 14 of their last 18 and put some huge scores on the board in recent times too. Since their 0-5 start to the year, they've had very few blips. It's just that one of those few blips came in the form of a 51 point loss to their opponent in this semi-final, Geelong. Given this game will be the MCG, I can't help but find myself expecting Hawthorne to win. I'm going to tip the Hawks to send the Cats out in straight sets with a 3 goal victory. That brings us to our first preliminary final where the Power hosts the Giants once again at Adelaide Oval. These two sides met at this ground in a semi-final last season, in which GWS knocked the Power out in straight sets. The Giants also beat the Power by four goals in Sydney earlier this season. We know the Giants don't struggle beating teams away from home, and so the case to be made for tipping them in this prelim is solid. 
That being said, I can't help but be swayed by Port Adelaide's recent resolve and maturity. My gut says that this version of the power has evolved into being ready to go one step further, and I'll tip them to win this prelim by 11 points. And so we move on to the Sydney Swans hosting Hawthorne at the SCG to play off for a spot in the grand final, with the win emitting Port Adelaide at the MCG. Looking at the head-to-head -head form between these sides is unhelpful. The Swans have thrashed the Hawks three times in a row, including earlier this year, but we know the Hawks are a different side now. As good as the Hawks are, I find myself unwilling to back them in seriously past this fixture. They're a young side playing in an away final, and there's a good chance in my view that the Swans return to some of their best footy this final series, and I'll back them in to qualify for a grand final with a big win over Hawthorne here. So the Swans will host Port Adelaide in the first all interstate grand final since 2006. It might seem cliche or predictable to have first and second on the ladder as my predicted grand final, but this year it seems anything but predictable. I must admit I didn't have any idea who would feature in my grand final until I sat down to look at it game by game. I once again feel conflicted on who to tip in this grand final. On the one hand, the Swans have lost all of their last 8 clashes against the power, including a hideous 112 point thrashing in Adelaide earlier this year. They do however probably have a more compelling record of form playing at the MCG than the power do, which is a critical factor in this matchup. Both of these sides have plenty of recent finals experience, although Sydney have played in a grand final as recently as 2022. Will that grand final experience against Geelong serve them here, or open old wounds? I see the Swans starting this game well and scoring frequently in a free-flowing contest, but then I expect the power to neutralise the contest as the game progresses with their elite pressure and intercepting defensive game, forcing a close contest. Both of these teams have match winners, but I sense on this occasion it may be Jason Horn Francis' time to announce himself as an elite big game player. I'm going to tip Port Adelaide to claim the Premiership and Horn Francis to claim the Norm Smith medal. So there you have it guys, my prediction of the 2024 AFL Final Series. Let me know how you see it going down in the comments section. And make sure you stick around on the channel as we navigate the Final Series, then the Trade Period, and then of course the Draft. Cheers.